Hi everyone, my name is Claudia and it is with a humble bow and great gratitude that I offer you this practice and this transmission. So by design, this class is a real opportunity to dance between the sense of flow and stability, of grace and strength, of softness and of power. Because why not? Why can't we have both? We are multi-dimensional beings and these polarities exist in all of us. And yoga is a really great way in bringing those dualities into a better state of balance. Now, for those people that are new to me, to this practice, to yoga, then welcome. Know that I am going to offer modifications for all the moves that you might want to modify. But the most important thing, and this goes for everyone, <laughs> is that you listen to your body, okay? So if you're pressing into something that feels like, you know, strong and strength, <laughs> then I want you to stay with that. But if you're ever working into something and it kind of feels like, oh, you know, a bit nervy, nervy and there's this intuitive feeling that it could eventually progress into an injury, then do not press into that, okay? <laughs> and for all those lovely souls that are returning, welcome back. I want everyone and anyone to bring everything that is present for you today to the mat. And just like how in a fitness class, you would use a weight to strengthen the body, here in this yoga class, we're going to use self-inquiry to strengthen our spiritual beings. All of you is welcome here. All right. Now with that, let's come to lie ourselves down. Strap ourselves in for this practice. And just take a moment to find that rooted place of arrival. It's probably going to take a second, right? To get out those neuroses out the way. The fidgeting, the adjusting letting the hair out, the waistband. And then when you're ready to consciously settle your systems, extend your legs, place one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart, and shut down your eyes. And let's simply start by just noticing how we are stepping into this space. So notice if there's a thought or if there are many thoughts circling through the mind. Notice how you're feeling, your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body. Maybe there's this stir of excitement or anticipation or expectation or trepidation, just tune into that element of how you're tapping in, taking a good look, taking a real good picture. Really, it's just your body, it's your mind, how it moves, unique to how you think, and those thoughts, well, they're unique to the things that you believe. And those beliefs are unique to every experience that you've ever had in your life. What we're doing during this practice is pulling the layers back to discover who we are underneath all of the noise. Now if it feels right, add some noise to your breath. Inhale through your nose. Take a sigh from the mouth. So the invitation is to make that breath as audible as possible. Let it be a release. Let it be a cathartic release. So inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> One more. Enjoy it, my loves. Inhale fully. 
Exhale completely. Now close your luscious lips. So by default, that breath happens in and out from the nose. And then with that breath, utilize it to inspire some movements throughout your body. So stretch out of the stillness that you're in. And then take any movements that feel right. So just get clear on what your body is requesting right now. And to the very best of your ability, honor it. Know that you can do no wrong. So you might want to take a twist. Perhaps happy baby is calling you. If this is your first movement of the day, you begin to tap into that innate wisdom of your being. Now, when you're ready, hug your thighs in, place the hands behind the backs of the kneecaps, and then use that connection to rock and roll your spine forwards and backwards. And you'll do this a few times, picking up some momentum. Probably used to do it as a child, right? So just connect back to that playful, youthful energy. <laughs> and then go ahead and rock yourself through to a tabletop pose. So bring your hands directly under your shoulders. And we're gonna get started by working into the fingers, into the wrists. So spread the fingers really wide and then root down through the pads of the fingers. So much so that the knuckles lift off the ground. So much so that you can see the pads turn white. Good, now keep the action and just begin to rock forwards and backwards. Keep gripping the ground. Rock side to side, undulate more through your spine. Just do what feels right. Remember, we're all dropping in from different spaces and different places and all of our bodies have had different lifetimes of living. So what we all arrive with is really unique. So please just drop into your own space where you can feel exactly what needs to be felt. Now let's feel this a little more through the wrist. Turn the fingertips to face the sides of your mat. Keep gripping the ground and then again, move and groove into your vessel. Hmm. Keep that breath pouring into those spaces, into those places that might not feel so fluid. <laughs> so work into the nooks and crannies. And then let's just go a tad deeper, turn fingertips to face knees. And then again, continue to move, continue to root. Continue to release that synovial fluid. It's like we're pumping some oil into the joints. Some coconut oil. <laughs> Lube it out. All right, very good, everyone. Turn the hands to face back forwards. Replant them down. Curl your toes under. Bend knees. Lift hips up and back. Downward facing dog. So let's take a moment to find the alignment here. Your hands are rooted, you're pressing them forward and down, and then you allow the action to reverberate through the arms. I want you to try to wrap the eye of the elbows forward. This is gonna help take any compression out of the shoulders. Take a soft bend into your knees as you lift your tailbone a tad higher. Now really hug your front body into your back body. So you can create more space through the thoracic spine. And then find a spacious breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now we're going to move with the breath. So with your next inhale, lift up your heels. And then begin to undulate your spine forward. Articulate yourself into a high plank position. Now I want you to press your hands into the ground so you can lift the upper back higher, just an inch. Chin draws in, navel tucks under. We find this domain action through the body. Now bend into your knees. Let's tap into that sense of softness as you wiggle your hips back and up. So we're going to flip between this idea of strength and sensuality right now. Roll yourself forward back into that high plank. Full engagement through the front line. As you exhale, bend into your knees and gracefully send the hips back and up. That's it. One more. Let the breath move you. Inhale, roll with that power. 
Exhale, gently push the hips back. Gorgeous. Take a look forward and then walk your feet forward. Bring the feet as wide as the wrist. Turn all 10 tootsies out, like little ballerina feet. <laughs> and then lower your hip girdle down. Malasana pose, yogi squat. Now press down through your heels, lift through the crown of the head, bring the hands to your heart center here. You're going to wrap your biceps to the inner seams of your thighs so you can use that connection to draw the knees further out. Whew, hello hips. <laughs> okay, take a moment here. For some of you, this might absolutely be enough. If you want to transition between internal and external rotation, you're going to come with me. So we'll take a breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, lower your right knee to hover from the ground. Inhale, center, lift it up. Exhale, lower the left. Keep the legs engaged, keep your spine upright. Now that is your rhythm. So on the inhale, we lift. On the exhale, we lower. And you can make this more your own, a little more unconventional. You can get your arms more involved, your spine, working into more of a animal movement-esque, animal movement transitions, or not. <laughs> okay, last few rounds. Now the next time you lift both knees up, point your toes forward, lift your hips high, drop your skull, let's reset in a forward fold. So bring the weight forward, allow your chest to fold, let your body feel like a piece of origami right now as you bend your knees deeply and you can slide your kneecaps into your armpits. Maybe some of you may wish to grab hold of opposite elbows here and sway those forearms from side to side. So by consequence, we begin to release through that back plane of the body. Let's really tap into the parasympathetic nervous system. Mm, this rest and digest mode. So press that button, <laughs> flick that switch, and then let's roll the body all the way through to a standing position. Press to lift. Eventually stack your head back on top of your cervical spine. And then bring hands to body. One hand to belly, one hand to heart. Shut down your eyelids. And just acknowledge that what you're doing today is stepping into a place of change. Right, so I want you to get real clear on why you're here. Give yourself full permission to commit. Give yourself permission to do this practice in a way, in a way that will be of service to you, so that you can be of service to others. Let it be a process. And then let this process be a gift. Now deliver that breath in like the gift that it is. Take a sweet sip of air in. Pull that out. Okay, we're going to move on the breath. Sari Namaskar A. It's a little modified. Open up your eyes. Sweep your arms high. Take a full body stretch. Breathe in. As you breathe out, fold yourself in half. You hinge from your hips. You dive your chest forward and down, and that skull is heavy. Halfway lift, breathe your back body there. Shoot spine forward, hands under shoulders. Exhale, high plank. We've already been there. Find that doming action through your body and really pull your front body in like you're wearing a corset. Take an inhale as you prepare. As you exhale, soften your knees down for this first round. Keep gripping the ground. Untuck your toes, lower your belly, your chest. Roll your shoulders back as you lower. Keep your elbows in. Now press down through your pubic bone and peel your chest high. Cobra pose. Inhale, let it feel sweet. Exhale, knees bend. Curl tootsies under. Push your hips up and back to downward facing dog. I'm going to give you three cycles of breath here. And know that this first round is simply here to kind of just ruffle up that top layer, to loosen the cloak of your skin, to release some of that debris that might be clinging on from your day. Take a breath in, breath out. Let's move with that beautiful breath. Look forward, inhaling. Malasana, exhale, step right foot and then the left foot. Toes out, heels in, lower hips, lift chest, hands together, breathe. 
fold forward on your exhalation turn toes forward now press down to roll through your spine inhale sweep the arms out and up let's clear the space clear the vessel exhale to fold clean your slate take a halfway lift inhaling lengthen back body engage front body exhale high plank bring your biceps into play as you pull them away from one another now lower to the knees or high plank to low plank keep gripping the ground now roll over your toes lift up your chest cobra or upward facing dog this time breathe in breathe out to downward facing dog keep pressing your hands forward and down keep lifting your hips up and back bend into your knees and deepen your breath inhale exhale there we go one more round take a look forward step left foot this time and then your right foot malasana hips lower chest ascends breathe in as you breathe out fold roll let the breath move the bones exhale fold ride it halfway in high plank x lower on the same exhalation go on your own journey here we're all going to meet in the same destination it's downward facing dog once you arrive there soften into your kneecap Bring them wide, hips to your heels, reach your arms forward, child's pose position. Now I want you to know that this is your home base for the practice. So if at any point things feel a little rough or if anything gets too intense or the body feels fatigued, then you drop to your knees and you rest. And I want you to know that if you were to stay in this position for the entire practice, and if all you were to do was to focus on your breath consciously and rhythmically, then you're going to still leave this practice feeling cleansed. You will still leave feeling charged. So make the breath the biggest part. Full breath in. Deep breath out. Amazing. Let's move on. Mandala flow we go. First round, we're gonna really tap into that state of fluidity. So with your hands plugged down, lift right foot up and back. Stretch out the hamstring, flare through the right toes so you draw them in towards your shin. Keep that right hip pulling down so the knee is parallel to the ground. Now imagine your chin here is a vacuum and you're gonna suction the right knee in towards it. <sighs> Suck it in. Keep pressing the hands down. See if you can grow taller through your back body. So puff it high. Right thigh is in towards your chest. Feel that compression. And then step your right foot forward. There we go. Lower your left knee down. Let it softly kiss the ground. Lift up your arms. We're going to take a low lunge. Anjaneyasana. Okay, let's take a moment to tune into the alignment. So option one, you can keep everything stacked. Hip over knee, right knee over ankle, shoulders over hips. We're going to cactus arms out. Option two, you can plunge deeper through the hip girdle. So we work into that quad and hip flexor a little more. Be mindful of your lower back. So keep a strong integral spine here as you contract your front body. Now lift your chest, open your arms a little more and then breathe a little deeper. Inhale exhale that's it now we're going to straighten out the right leg reach your arms forward and press the back of the hands into one another begin to flex your right foot in and up towards that shin keep pressing the hands in so you feel the protraction through your shoulder blades good inhale exhale so nice so let me just give you a note here this is less to do with how deeply you fold and more to do with how much integrity you can keep in your front body we're going to pulsate between those two positions let's mobilize bend right knee open your chest breathe in as you breathe out lengthen right leg weight goes back hands come forward half hanamanasana keep moving on the breath find your own tempo right now let this be an expression one more now the next time you bend into that right knee keep yourself there 
pick up the left knee by curling your left toes under and then lift in that kneecap off the ground. Beautiful, let's make a micro adjustment. Right knee is gonna reach further forward. Let's make a few, send your left heel back. Tilt your tailbone under, so we find posterior tilt. Chest is open, wing your arms out. Take a breath in, breath out. Good, now find a diagonal stretch through your spine. Arrowhead pose, same, same, a little different. You're gonna reach your arms forward. Kiss the back of the hands in towards one another. Now we find this anterior tilt of the tailbone. Keep front body hugging into back body. Let's move and breathe. Bend right knee, open chest, inhale. Exhale as you round, anterior tilt of the pelvis. Feel that undulation through your back body. Keep moving on your breath. That is your rhythm. <sighs> Developing that more deeper, intimate relationship with your body right now. Now, the next time you get to arrowhead pose, where the back of the hands are pressing into one another, hold it there. Let's reconvene as a team. Now, begin to sweep your arms open through warrior two. And then straight away, transition into Skandasana to the back. Bend your left knee, collect your hands together at your heart center. Option one is to stay here with the hips in line with your knee. Or if you have the capacity, lower your hips in line with that heel. Flex the right foot. And some of you may have that left heel lifted. That's all good. Move to your body's capacity and just take note. Breathe in, lift your lungs. As you breathe out, we're gonna turn to the back Wrap your bicep to the inside of your left thigh. You can wiggle that left foot a little further out to the left. Press your hands down and then slowly does it. Step yourself into a high plank. Lower, option to drop your knees. Now lift your chest as you squeeze your back body. Cobra pose, breathe well. Downward facing dog, you breathe out. Now when we face the back, we're gonna take a few spinal rolls to keep the body in motion today. So roll yourself forward as you inhale. Exhale, push the hips back. If this feels too intense, drop your knees. Let's do two more. I want you to get even more precise, even more efficient with how you move because you're delving so deep into your physicality that you've got no other option but to recognize the feedback. Mm, all right, and now the next time you get to down dog, hold it there. Left side, we move back home. Lift your left toes up. Flare the foot. Keep the hips neutral, so sass that left hip down. That's it. Now bring the knee in towards your nose. Suction it in and up. Squeeze to lift, engage, and then step toes forward. Amazing, right knee drops down. Roll your body high. Low lunge, or begin to plunge through your hips more. Cactus your arms out, so pick that place that's gonna tap into your potency. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's move, lengthen left leg, reach your arms forward. Half Hanumanasana. Really try to level out through the hips here. Keep that left hip pulling back as the right hip reaches forward. Now, if you flex the left foot, it will help with the balance. Anchor down through the backs of the hands. Press them in towards one another. Beautiful, let's move. Bend left knee, open chest, breathe in. As you breathe out, lengthen left leg, reach your arms forward. Stay on the breath, let it guide you. Do not do yourself a disservice by ignoring the variety and the complexity of your being, your bones. Okay, one more. Now the next time you bend into your left knee, hold it there, pick up your right knee. Let's transition through a high lunge. There we go, settle in, left knee is deeply bent, right heel is pushing back, tilt tailbone, lift chest, open arms, breathe in. Breathe out. Now reach your arms forward, keep your left knee bent. Lengthen through your back body, press back of hands in towards one another. Where intention goes, energy flows, let's move. Open your front body, energize yourself, breathe in. Exhale as you round and close. 
put emphasis on slowing this down. A few more cycles in your own time. Hmm. With every breath, you are creating more space. That's it. Now the next time you meet an arrowhead, hold it there. From arrowhead, we open ourselves through warrior two, only for a transition. Windmill your arms open and then continue to bend into your right knee as you lower your hips in line with the knee or in line with your heel as you flare the left toes up towards the sky. Magnetize them. We're in this lateral stretch, similar to how we started in Malasana. Take a moment to breathe into those spaces, those places that are asking to be felt right now. Inhale. Exhale, we're gonna to turn to the front. Remember, slowly does it. Right arm is at the inside of your right knee. Wiggle the right foot out to the right. With your hands pressed down, you're gonna lift the right foot and float it back. Slow is strong. Now lower down with that strength. Lift your front body with grace. Dance between the two, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now soften to your shins. Take a moment in recalibration, child's pose. Hmm. Take a moment to recenter, to reconnect, to recommit. Stay with that sense of flow with this flow state. And this flow state is a direction of energy without hindrance, or without resistance. And you've probably experienced it before in your life, when, when you're in a conversation and it just flows, it just runs from one place to the next. Or if you've been dancing and you can just, mm, you know, move with freedom or if you've been playing sport and you can perform to the very best of your ability. It's generally when we're in this state of flow. And when we're in this state of flow, our critical part of the brain begins to shut down, which leaves space for other parts of the brain to really open up. It's what we call being in the zone. So find yourself in that place. And the best way to do that is to bring the mind onto the breath. So breathe into your body. Now let that breath just flow out. All right, stay on that, my loves. Second round, we're gonna add a little on. Down dog. Let's take a sun salutation to sink back up. Now option to step forward to your malasana, or you're gonna come with me. You're gonna bend your knees deeply, preparing a springboard, so you're on the ball of the feet. Take a look forward as you inhale. As you exhale, kick your heels towards your glutes. The weight comes forward into the pads of the fingers and you land through Malasana, <laughs> frog hop, something like that. You can have a little play. Do that a few times or not. We're all gonna meet here anyway. Breathe in. As you breathe out, fold yourself in half. Point the toes forward, roll yourself all the way through to a standing position. Arms reach up, full inhalation. Fold yourself down, exhalation. Halfway, breathe in. High plank, breathe out. Stabilize through your being. With that stability, softly lower. Pull yourself up and breathe in. Downward facing dog, you breathe out. Now lift the right leg high, inhale. Knee to nose as you exhale. Step right foot forward, lower left knee, listen. Okay, options. You can stay here in a low lunge as you begin to allow your hips to descend. Option two, we're gonna continue to work into the hamstrings. You're gonna push your hips back and you're gonna wiggle that right foot further forward. You can use the help of your own hands here. So eventually we wanna bring the shoulders over the hips. Now, my invitation to you right now is to grab some blocks or books or anything that resembles a block or a book, maybe even tins of soup, whatever you've got lying around. <laughs> so you can place your hands to the, to the blocks. 
We're going to scooch that left knee a few inches back. Hoo -hoo. Hello, hamstrings. <laughs> now, I want you to keep this right leg engaged by flexing the right toes in. Keep your shoulders over your hips here and your navel plugging in towards your back. Now, if you're here and you're like, Ugh, you know, really clenched and stiff, I want you to lean into that intensity, lean into the tension. The best way to do that is to take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, softly dive deeper. There we go. Do that again. Inhale, press and lift a little. As you exhale, soften, surrender into it. One more, just like that. Breathing, lifting. Breathing out and deepening. There we go. You let the breath soothe the bones. Lift your chest back up. We're going to start to bend back into the right knee. Yoga practice, not yoga perfect. It's all a practice. Slowly, slowly. Okay, lift up your upper body. From your low lunge, the left knee is going to glide off the ground. You're going to put your brain into your right foot and the left knee is going to come in towards your chest. Figure four pose. Hook your left foot on your right knee. Bring your knees in line and then collect the hands together at your heart center. Bring the knuckles of the thumbs to the chest. Now, can you sit an inch lower here? So check in with your hips. Make sure they're level. Check in with your chest, keep it forward. Keep squeezing the ground with that right foot. Some of you may be able to fold your chest deeper down so eventually the elbows stack on that left foot. Beautiful, hold and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Amazing, my loves. Pull up your chest, bring the left knee in with you and then rotate the left knee over to the left. Listen, you're going to step the left foot all the way back through to your Skandasana pose. Right leg extends, left knee bends. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, turn to the back. Left elbow is hugging to the inside of your left leg. We're going to soften that right knee down. Let's come to lizard lunge. Untuck your toes. Option one is to stay on your hands. Option two is to drop a forearm. Or maybe drop both. Option three is to bend your back knee. Reach your left hand back to grab hold of the foot. Let's just take a moment in a release. Feel that sense of relief. <laughs> and if there's any part of you that's resisting the pose, that's forcing, that's clenching right now, just breathe into it. It's your nervous system. It's trying to like ugh, hang on to something before you fully let go. So let's use the breath to help us. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let that breath move something for you. So nice. Now let's come on out. Release the right foot. Place hands under your shoulders. As slow as possible, step left foot next to your right. Zip your heels together and then lower yourself down. Lift up your chest, breathe in, breathe out to downward facing dog. When we face the back, we're going to continue to move like a wave, option to drop knees. Inhale, roll yourself forward. Exhale, push yourself back. Begin to flip between that sense of stability and flexibility. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Breathing in. Breathing out. So really doing this to feel, not just to get it done. Eventually meeting back in your downward facing dog shape. Left and final round we move. Float those tootsies up and back with conviction. Bring knee to nose. Discipline, squeeze it in and then step the foot forward. Lower your right knee down, tent up onto your fingertips. Option one, this is absolutely enough. Option two, push your hips back, lengthen out through your left leg. Walk your hands closer in, grab some blocks, books, 
tons of soup. <laughs> Place them under your hands, lift up your shoulders, try to stack them over your hips here. And then wiggle the feet further away from one another to that degree where you feel some kind of sensation and then you hang out in that sensation. We press the hands into our prop to lift the chest, find a proud chest, breathe in, breathe out. That's it, two more cycles. Remember, growth isn't always linear. Go easy on yourself. We're not always on this constant trajectory towards progression. Everything's always gonna fluctuate. Sometimes we rock up onto the mat and we're like, oh yeah, I feel so open today. And sometimes not so much. So just be with wherever you're at. One more breath in, breath out. That's it, we're gonna come on out. Left knee is gonna bend. Open your arms, so you're in your low lunge. We're all gonna meet there. Now pick up your right knee. High lunge, weight comes forward into your left foot. Right thigh will glide into the chest so we can set figure four pose up. Right ankle onto your left knee. You can always use the help of your hands too here. Eventually the hands will come to your heart center. Now everyone sit low through your hips. Try to bring both kneecaps in line. Hmm. Push the weight further back into your heel, but keep reaching forward through your chest. See if you can lengthen through the sides of your body so you're not collapsing here. It's an intentional reach. And take an intentional breath in with that beautiful balance. Breathe out. Slowly does it keep your drishti. Hug right knee in and up. And then rotate your right knee out to the right. Feel that rotation. Oh, little click, a little crack. If you felt one, it's great. That's what we want. Step the toes back. Land light. Skandasana. Dance between the transitions. Take a breath in as you lift chest. As you breathe out, turn all the way to the front. Hug your arms to the inside of that right leg. You can wiggle, rotate it over to the right. Pivot, left knee down. Option to drop elbows. Option to reach your right arm back to clasp hold of your left foot. Three cycles of breath. cultivating all of that juice in deep remembrance of why you're practicing to create this space, to expand, to vibrate higher. We've practiced all is coming, so keep coming back to your breath practice. Breathe in, breathe out. So lovely everyone, we're gonna come on out as slow as possible. Hands under the shoulders. Feet are gonna step together. The inner seams of the leg are gonna squeeze in and then we're gonna lower down through our last vinyasa of this practice. Enjoy. Open up your front body, stretch yourself out after all of that compression and then bend into your knees. Push your hips towards your heels. Soften your forehead to the ground and take a moment. Mm, give yourself permission right now to feel. Now let's begin to um, switch this practice down a few gears. So slowly does it, we'll roll the body all the way up. We're gonna sit the hips to one side and we're gonna swing legs forward and down. Now, maybe you wanna grab some pillows or blocks, whatever you've got around you and get them on board for this part. You're gonna place your props under your chest. So in between your legs, as you shoot your feet out, hips distance apart. Now we'll take a moment to re-establish through our sitting bones, so root down, 
lift up through the front body and then sweep your arms out and up. Elevate yourself, raise your vibration, your frequency. You're always in charge, breathe in. On the breath out, fold yourself forward. Now drop your chest over to your support network right now. Your chest might even be higher. Try to release the forehead, the third eye. And then settle in. We're going to be here for some time. And let's create that sense. We're in a sanctuary right now. And I know you've all experienced it before. You can imagine like, you've been watching at a sunset and you're just like ah oh, this is so dreamy well like how can we cultivate more of that more often for this time for this practice for this day and the beauty of that of the inner sanctuary is that it really does begin with the breath. The breath is so potent, so steeped in vitality and goodness. So take a big breath in, calm your nervous system down. Exhale. All right, sweet souls, lift up your chest. Let's continue to move now from this place of ease. Get rid of your props, bend into your knees and unravel your spine down. Bring your feet over your ankles and then we're gonna place the right foot on the left knee. Figure four, but a much more restorative version of it. So again, we're gonna to try to bring the knees in line. You can flex that right foot to help protect your joint. Really grind, ground down through the back body, through the lower back, feel the base. This might be enough. You might just wanna stay here. Or you can draw that left thigh in towards your chest a little more and you can bind your hands around the left thigh. Close your eyes now. Let's begin to move into a deeper space of introspection. So take in a little inventory as to how you're feeling right now. How it's changed from where you began. slowly drop the sole of the right foot to the ground. Place your left ankle on your right knee. Send your left knee back to start and just take a moment. If you stayed here for the first round, then do the same here. Try to marry both sides. If you took it into figure four, the right knee comes in and the hands bind around that right thigh. Interlace the hands, just check in with the shoulders, so make sure you're not intentionally clenching anywhere. Drop the shoulders back and down. Soften the muscles of your face. Release the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Let your eyeballs roll to the back of your skull. when you're ready to fully absorb all that you've cultivated today you're going to release your legs long and we're going to meet in our final position of this practice it's really the most important one so close your eyes and give yourself permission to fully relax right now i'll let you know when it's time to come out
as it are, moving a muscle, begin to ignite your senses. Deepening your breath. And then allowing that breath to inspire some small movements back in. Allowing those smaller movements to perhaps make way for something more nourishing, more expansive. If it feels right. And then eventually we're all gonna meet in a fetal position so your knees can come in and you can drop your knees over to whichever side is calling you. The right is the masculine, the yang, the fire. The left is the yin feminine the moon now pause here and just take a moment shavasana represents the end of a practice whilst this position represents new beginnings so whilst you're here you can feel this sense of rebirth of reincarnation and as you do that riding off the back of that let's set an intention of how you would like to show up in the rest of your day. And don't let the outside world set the agenda. You set it for yourself. Set it deeply. Now press down to lift yourself up to a C. Let's cross the legs, erect the spine, collect the hands together at the center of your chest and then bow your chin to your chest in honor of this practice, in honor of everyone watching and in honor of yourself for making the time today, for holding this virtual space, for sharing your energy and for giving your body and your mind the gift of yoga. Together, we are creating these powerful changes in our lives as individuals, and then we put this energy out as a collective. So savor this feeling. Now bow chest all the way forward and let this bow be the symbol of the completion of our time together. Namaste, my friends. Namaste. I hope this practice served you well. Stay safe, be well, be kind, and I'll see you all the time.